So we're going into the Tay form, and the first advice I always give whenever we're going into a conjugation lesson is that you should memorize the dictionary form of verbs first. Like when you learn a new verb, don't memorize the mas conjugation or anything because it's just it's more confusion than it's worth. Memorize the dictionary form first, and thank you, just Mike. I am feeling quite a bit better. My voice is a little bit, <clears throat> I don't know, raspy, but then, then again, it always kind of is. But <laughs> anyway, so yeah. And yeah, so that's great. So then all verbs, all of them, every single one ends with an oo sound, new syllable, right? Every single one. And these are the characters. There's oo. Let's throw up my pen. Oo, coo, su, tsu, nu, moo, goo, boo, and do. If a word ends with this, then it's probably a verb. Got it memorized? Do I have what memorized? Do I have the verbs? <clears throat> I'm not sure what I said. I've already forgotten. It's great. I'm lacking sleep. Anyway, there's good news, great news, maybe amazing news. Um, if you learn the Tay form, which we're going to go over today, you already know how to do the informal past tense. That's because they're they're literally exactly the same. It's just that the Tay form ends in Tay or De. And the past tense ends in ta. So that's it. Wow, the reference was missed. Got it memorized. Yes. Sorry about that. <laughs> I'll let you go on. I'm just cracking jokes. Do it. Jokes are good. I don't always get them, but, you know, I get I get too focused on this whole thing. Got milk? Yes. So anyway, the basic te form verbs end in te, right? And they it acts as a command on its own. So if you just say a verb and uh, use the te form, it's a command. Semi-polite? I don't know. So just jumping into what I always go over when I do the mas form or any other form, an u, right? There's three, th okay, so there's a couple different endings, a couple different things that the last character in a verb will turn into, right? But u, tsu, and most du verbs will end the same way. Then ku, gu, they're a little bit different, but mu, bu, and new verbs end the same way. And su is a little different, but you just have to memorize these endings, and if you memorize them, you can conjugate any verb into the day form. And it's actually really easy. There's not that much to memorize. It's better than English. It's better than Spanish. Like, there, there's so much less to memorize. So don't worry about that. Going to lurk you editing a video. Yeah, man, I know how that is. You only got so much time you can edit. Thanks a lot, though. Appreciate it. So let's just jump into it. U verbs, you cut the U and add a small tsu, which is like a stop, and then te. So utao, which means to sing, becomes utatte which is a command, basically, that means sing. So everyone, utatte, sing, right? Just sing. I'm never going to do that again. All right, tsu, also, you just add a, you cut the tsu, add a small tsu, and te. So our verb for today is matsu, which means to wait, and it becomes mate, mate, stop, wait, don't go anywhere, mate, right? Pretty straightforward. Do verbs, except for, you see, I have a little star here. <clears throat> Most ru verbs are also, you cut the ru, add a small tsu, and te. Um, if you've been here for the other conjugation lessons, you know that there's exceptions to, to this. The ichidan verbs end a little bit differently, and they're actually really easy, but we'll get to them in a little bit. So our first ru verb for today is noru. So noru means to get on, so you just cut the ru and add this, and it becomes notte. So get on, get on the bike, notte. I've never said that before, but... You could uh, get in the car, yeah. Notte, notte. If you're you're driving by really slowly and someone's running away from someone, and you get on, get in, get in, right? Notte. All right. So coup verbs, they stand alone. You cut the coup. We're like this, and add ite, ite, right? So kiku, which is to listen, becomes kite. So it's like a long e sound. Kite, kite kudasai. Oh, we'll get to kudasai later, right? And that's just a command that means listen. Hi there, says Yuki. Konbawa. Oh, there come the bananas. The bananas are out. <clears throat> Get your bananas now. While Yuki's eating oranges, you should be giving out oranges, Yuki. That's what you actually have. <laughs> I don't need one. <laughs> Goo verbs are very similar to ku verbs, except uh, the te becomes a de. So you cut the ku, and it becomes ide instead of ite, right? So our verb for today is to hurry, which is isogu, and it becomes isoide. Isoide. Hurry up. This one you hear all the time. People are saying it to, like I work at a kindergarten, right? And there's 300, I think 80 kids, 380 kids. And every day when they're going home, <clears throat> there's 
they, they like go into the playground and they want to play, even though they're supposed to be leaving and going to their cars and getting out of the kindergarten. So you hear moms just all over the place shouting, Isoide, isoide, let's go, let's go, hurry up. <clears throat> so it's a very common one you're going to hear all the time. I guess my voice isn't quite healed. Tabete, hurry up and eat. Yes, we'll get to that one in a little bit, Dan. Jumping ahead of me. <laughs> Oranges for everyone. Nice. So moo verbs, boo verbs, boo verbs, yes, boo verbs, and new verbs all end the same way for the te form. And that is with nde. So you cut it and add nde. You cut the last character, right? So in nomu, you cut the mu and just add nde. Nonde. So drink, drink. Nonde, nonde. You're gonna hear, you're gonna hear that one a lot if you live in Japan or ever move here and you haven't. Are we gonna are we gonna learn the te form song? Is there a te form song? Mu becomes unde bu becomes unde nu becomes unde shin de kudasai. What? Is that is that a song? Can I say that? I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> so bu also becomes unde, and our verb for today is to play, which is asobu. So you cut the boo and just add nde. Yeah, it's like perfect. I I'm a pro at this, right? <laughs> Asonde means to play. So if your kid is wandering around and looking at the playground, it's like, oh, I want to play. You can just asonde, asonde, iyo. Asonde. Go play. I don't have any kids. Well, I have 30 in my classroom, but yeah. Anyway, so new, I've said this about 500 times in this channel. There's only two new verbs in existence in the Japanese language. One is shinu, one is inu. They mean the same thing, which is to die. Inu is essentially never used in modern Japanese, so you don't really need to learn it. Shinu, of course, is to die, so you cut the nu and it becomes nde, which is just die, shinde, shinde. You shouldn't say that. Apparently, it's like censored in a lot of places, websites and stuff in Japan now. I don't know. Yuki says it's recently become like Japan doesn't really censor words like we do in America. We have to censor all kinds of words like on the radio. Funny story about that, but shinde apparently is censored recently on a lot of websites and stuff. But funny story, if you've never been to Japan, you've never been to like a grocery store in the countryside. Um, grocery stores in the city are noisy and just obnoxious and you want to get out of there as fast as possible. But grocery stores in the countryside are actually, they just have quiet music playing. But the funny thing is, is that a lot of times that quiet music is like hardcore gangster rap. So today there was, I don't even know who it was, but it, it was like, it was some heavy stuff. And you know how rap is, like, especially from like the early 2000s, which is usually what they're playing. Like they're throwing down the F-bomb like every two seconds. And it's hysterical because it's just the middle of a grocery store. And this dude's talking about doing drugs and, you know, and your mother, I guess, but you know, stuff like that. Like in the middle of a grocery store, there's kids walking around. Of course, nobody understands it, but it's, it's still really funny because I do understand it. And I'm just, you know, just trying to buy water or something. But anyway, okay. So, su, this one stands alone as well. Su, you just cut the su and it becomes shite. So, hanasu is our verb for today, which is to speak. That's the way it should be. Yeah. You cut the su and it becomes hanashite. Speak! Everyone, speak! Hanashite! That also sounds kind of like let go of me. Anyway, the exceptions to the ru verbs, the do verbs, are verbs that end in eru, the eru sound, not actually the character e and do, and iru. So just before I get there, there are eight exceptions to this rule. So even though the, these eight verbs end in iru or edu, they're conjugated the same as regular do verbs or godan verbs, right? <clears throat> so these iru and eru verbs are called ichidan verbs. And the e and e can be part of another mora. So in this case, we're going to use taberu, which Dan threw up in the chat a little bit earlier. Um, you see that the last character before ru is actually be. But the, the sec, if you, if you, this is the one time that romaji is kind of helpful. If you write it out in romaji, you see that be, of course, ends in an e sound. And this is what we mean by an eru verb. So taberu is an eru verb, which means... Super, super easy. All you have to do is cut the ru and add te. So for taberu, you just cut ru, add te. Tabete. Mede san says, usually you can tell the difference if they're written in katakana. I mean, hiragana. Yes, it's that's true. You can usually tell the difference. If you know all the hiragana already, you can tell it. I know a lot of people who are watching this probably 
don't know hiragana yet and you should learn it as fast as possible actually before you even go through this lesson you should probably go back and find hiragana lessons somewhere fortunately i don't have any on my channel yet but it's definitely something you should learn immediately if you are learning japanese so the other examples we have today are miru which of course mi it ends in an e sound so that's an iru verb you just cut the ru becomes mite which is look neru ne it ends in an e sound right so it's an eru verb you cut the ru becomes nete sleep okiru is wake up or get up uh ki right it ends in an e sound so it's an iru verb you cut the ru add te okite wake up okite yuki okite i say that every day <laughs> so these <laughs> she doesn't look happy about this anyway these are the eight exceptions to that rule, right? I've gone over these in every one of my conjugations lessons, so this may be review for you guys, but that's okay. These are important words that you're going to use, most of them, a lot. So the exceptions, which you'll just conjugate normally, are haidu, which is to enter. You just cut the do and add small tsu and te, like a regular do verb. So it becomes haitte. Come on in. Hashiru, which becomes hashitte. Iru, which is... Itte? I've, I've never used this before. Need it. Need it. I don't think... I don't... I've never heard it used. I've never used it. But if you were to conjugate the verb to need, this is how you'd do it. Kaidu, which is to go home, not to be confused with frog, is kaitte, right? So these are exceptions. Even though it ends in an eru, it's an exception to the rule. Right, you got that, right? Okay. Kagiru. Kataru. Kagitte. To limit something. Limit. Limit it, I guess. Kiru. To cut. Kite. Cut the vegetables. Kite. Shaberu. Which is to speak. Shabette. I uh, use the kanji there for some reason. Anyway, shiru, which is to know. Shite. Shite iru. That's, we'll get to iru another time. So, those are pretty straightforward, right? <clears throat> so, Japanese only has two irregular verbs, which is amazing if you're coming from any other language english spanish there's so many regulars and you just have to memorize them all but in japanese there's just these two no matter what the rule is it's kuru and suru kuru is to come suru is to do and it's often added to other like nouns to make a verb kind of be verbs basically so kuru it's conjugated and this is what's irregular about it the ku becomes ki te kite so this is just something you have to memorize right there's no there's no reason or rhyme to it. It's just how it is. Suru becomes shite. So, for example, benkyo suru, which is to study, um, would be benkyo shite. Go study, man. Why aren't you guys studying? Study. I guess you are studying. You're watching this. Isn't that amazing? Anyway, so the inform. Like, does anyone have any questions on the Tay form that's watching right now? I'm not so sure that anyone watching right now is actually not above this level already. But if you are not, do you have any questions on the Tay form? I'll stop for one second and wait and see if anyone has any questions. I'm guessing no. But good news, guys, if you got that or if you've gone back and watched it again and understand it now or if you have the book and you're like, okay, I get the Tay form. You also, despite this not being in this lesson in Genki, you also know how to make the informal past tense because it is exactly the same. You just cut. It's just not te. It ends in ta. And that's the past tense. <clears throat> so just super fast in here. Utao becomes utatta. I sang. Matsu becomes matta. Mateta. I would never say matta. Mateta. Anyway, anyway, it's it's correct. <laughs> Noru becomes notta. I got on the train. Ku becomes ita. Ki, kita. I listened. Gu becomes ida. So isogu becomes isoida. I hurried. Today, I hurried here. So that I could do the stream. Yay! Thank you for hanging out, everyone. Would have been sad if I got here and... Anyway. Mu becomes nda. So see, they're all exactly the same. It's just da instead of de. Nonda. I drank. Asonda. I played. Shinda. I died. Well, not yet. Hanashita. I spoke. So they're all exactly the same, which is why I'm not going to go over them much. It's just a brief coverage because it's not even in this lesson. But they're exactly the same as the te form. You just change it to ta. So miru becomes mita. Neru becomes neta. Okiru becomes okita. Right? The same rule for iru and neru verbs applies. Same exceptions. Everything. Man, kanji on this little screen is impossible to see. Kita. Right? Is that? Is that kita? I can't see it. 
Anyway, sorry, Dan. So, this is where the fun shinda. This is where the fun stuff in the lesson comes up. I think the stuff you can actually use. <clears throat> so, the te form is important because it's used as a part of a lot of other grammar structures in Japanese, right? One of the most common ones that you will use all the time is when you add kudasai to the end of the te form, which is a polite request. So, for example, takusan tabete kudasai, eat lots, please. You'll hear this all the time. You're gonna go to like a drinking party, or you go to someone's house and they're making dinner for you. Someone's gonna say takusan takusan tabete kudasai, please eat lots. Hmm. Does anyone else like? Like when I'm just speaking Japanese, I'm in Japanese mode. I feel like my pronunciation isn't that bad. But when I'm actually speaking in English and trying to explain Japanese, and I say a Japanese sentence in the middle of an English one, it just comes out wrong. Does anyone else have that problem, or is it just me? Anyway, takusan tabete kudasai. Woo. <coughs> Here's some other examples. Chotto matte kudasai. Chotto matte kudasai. Please wait a minute. This one you hear all the time. It's probably one of the first sentences in every phrase book out there. Kite kudasai. Please listen. Everyone, kite kudasai. Yuki's shaking her head at me. What's up? Hmm? Ah, okay. Whew. Listen, please. Honto? Hai. Okay. Takusan hakushu o shite kudasai. I hear this one at least once a month at my kindergarten because for our birthday assembly, the kids come up front on the stage we have a birthday assembly basically all the kids um from that month they get up on stage and they introduce themselves and their parents come to watch and we all go to the big gym and listen to them and the kids come up front and they're like please give us lots of applause takusan hakushu o shite kudasai so i hear that all the time hakushu is applause right okay everyone okay on te kudasai if you're not and you're watching this on the replay, which would be awesome too, you can ask down in the comments or join me on the Discord. There's a link for that down in the description and you can ask anything on there. Someone is always really quick to answer Japanese questions. Um, and if they don't, I will by the time I wake up. <laughs> and you could also ask on Twitter. I'm always happy to answer there. There's links for that as well. So our next... Vide says clap, 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 clap. Thank you. Thank you for the applause. <laughs> so... Our next form is giving and asking permission to do something. So that is done by just adding mo i to the te form. And I've got desu ka in parentheses because te mo i des is actually the full thing, but I, I don't, I rarely add des onto it. It's usually fine alone. But if you're asking for permission, something, something, shite mo i desu ka, that one you're going to use a lot. So that's just, you know, the question marker. <clears throat> if you've come this far, I think you probably know that already. But it just means, may I do something, if you've got the question marker. And you may do something, if, you know, you just ended in moi. So my example here is, tabete moi desu ka? Can I eat, please? Like, seriously? Tabete moi desu ka? It's an important one. Our examples are, ki you can ask, or you can listen, but I, I don't know. Maybe if you have music or something you want someone to listen to. Can I go? So someone's going to a concert and you want to go as well. Can I go? <clears throat> this one, if any of you, I know you guys, a lot of you are video creators, so this one you've probably used before and is really important if you don't know it. Come to Japan, Dan says, Japanese are so polite and always ask, Toide itte mo ii. Yeah. Yeah. We actually teach our kids to say that in kindergarten. They're actually not required to, but it's like one of the things they're taught to say. One of the first things we teach them to say in English, actually, is can I go to the bathroom? <clears throat> I don't know why. They just go anyway. And I don't, if, like, I would rather a four or five year old just go without asking because otherwise they end up peeing in their pants half the time, especially in the beginning. But anyway. I always say dumb it. You're just you're just mean, Dan. No, I do too, actually. Um, but yeah, toide itte mo ii. I think I've said that before too, in many situations. Anyway, so for you creators out there, this one's good. Bidi, <clears throat> I hate katakana. 
ビデオを撮ってもいいですかビデオを撮ってもいいですか Can I take a video? You could also add 写真 to this. 写真を撮ってもいいですか Can I take a picture? Very important one. More people should probably use it. So, yes. Anyone have any questions about Mo E? If you do, ask in the comments or in the live chat. Funny thing about live chat, I don't know. I know that you, Dan, and that Mayday san there, you guys have been doing live streams recently. But you know, you get those reports you get from YouTube at the end of the month in your email, and it says how many comments you've gotten. Well, the first time I streamed, I didn't know. And for like two months, I didn't realize this, but I kept getting reports that said I had like 400 or 1,000 comments. And I was like, where, where are these comments that I am not seeing? Am I getting spammed in YouTube or is YouTube just screwed up? Apparently, it counts live chat and streams as comments. So that was really confusing for me. I wonder if anyone else has been confused by that. Anyway, very off topic. Our next form is You must not. もういいです。わかった。Thank you. So, <clears throat> basically, forbidding someone to do this, you'll often see this on signs, or people might say, you know, on the train, it might say you're not allowed to smoke, stuff like that. But you do that by adding the particle wa plus ikemasen, which just means you can't do, right? So, you must not do something, depending on the verb. So, Just going back to our last thing, shashin o totte wa ikemasen. You must not take pictures. Shashin o totte wa ikemasen. Or if you can't smoke, tabako o sutte wa ikemasen. You cannot smoke cigarettes or whatever. <clears throat> so, actually, I use this in school a lot.、Um, if I'm speaking Japanese and something important has happened, like you can't. Can't jump off the second floor windows or something. I don't know. Kids are, kids are stupid mostly. But、uh, what, what I'll do is, for example, piano o nobotte wa ikema. And then I pause. And the kids will automatically just say sen. So teachers do this all the time in kindergarten. Something, something, te wa ikema. Sen. The kids will finish off for you. Just. Confirming that they understand that they aren't allowed to do it. So, this is a pretty important form if you ever plan on being a teacher in Japan that isn't just an Aikaiwa teacher who isn't allowed to use Japanese, I guess. But anyway, here are some examples. Must not go is itte wa ikemasen. You cannot go to the toilet. So, I mean, in Dan's case for the toilet, you could say itte wa ikemasen or you could just say dame. That's probably much funnier, but it doesn't matter. <clears throat> Next one is you must not listen to that story. I don't know why I made this sentence, but anyway. Sono hanashi o kiite wa ikemasen. Right. Now, this last sentence is a much more informal version of the same thing. It's more spoken, right? So, yatcha ikenai. So, the te sort of becomes a cha, and then. Ikenai is the negative, but the informal negative of ikemasen, right? Ikemasen is the,、uh, is the more formal way to say it, but ikenai is the informal way to say the same thing. The verb is yaru, so to do, but sort of informal. So, yatcha ikenai. You can't do that. Yatcha ikenai yo. Hear that a lot. No, I don't. Okay, so our last thing to go over. Any, everyone good on wa ikemasen? If you have any questions, let me know in the comments, on the Discord, on Twitter, on the chat, whatever. You, you, you got this thing. All right, so our last usage of the te form to cover today, there's like 10 others, but they're not in this lesson, so don't worry about it, is、um, using te to link consecutive activities. Now, these are fun because one of the first things I always think that people should learn when they're learning a language of any language is these.、Um, What do you call them actually? Things that combine two sentences into, into one just, or continue stories. So, like, what are you, connectors? I think they're connectors. Yeah, connectors. I think they're really, really useful and they can make you sound way better at a language than you actually are. So, you can use te to combine two or more verbs or sentences even. So, takusan tabete kairu. Eat lots and go home. That's it. There's just like the little comma there, and then the next sentence. And this, this, as you may know, to have a proper grammatically correct sentence, all you need is a verb. So, takusan tabete kairu. That's actually what we did today. 
Yeah. So here are some more examples of consecutive activities. Our first one is video o totte henshu shimas. So I shoot a video, then I edit it. All in one sentence. Another example is hanashi o kite kotaite kudasai. So listen to the story and then answer the question. Conjunctions, yes. Hey, people, says Kyushu Trails. Boom, bananas for you, my friend. Welcome. Thank you for coming. Conjunctions, thank you, everyone. Conjunctions. See, I'm really bad at grammatical terms in English. I think I never really paid any attention to grammar in any language until I started studying Japanese. So a lot of the terms I learned for grammar were in Japanese, and I still don't know them in English. I should probably learn them considering I'm, I'm teaching. Japanese and English. Anyway, osokunatte, sumimasen. It's okay, man. Oh, we were going to cover that one next. Man, you're fast. Conjunction, junction. What's your function? Let's watch that video. Nah. All right, our next sentence is Oso <laughs> osokunatte, sumimasen. Wow, I didn't even realize that was on the page right now. I thought you were just getting way ahead of me. Yep, sorry that I'm late. Um, the actual, like, literal translation for this is sort of like, I'm late. And for that, I am sorry. But I'm sorry I'm late is a much less awkward sentence. Osokunatte sumimasen or osokunatte gomen nasai. Yep. Oh, we're done. That's it. That's literally all we had to cover today. The lesson also goes over the connector kara. Um, but it's, it's a really easy topic. So if you guys have Genki and you actually don't know this part yet, then you can just read it in there. It's super short. It's just how to connect two sentences, kind of like with the te form, but using kara instead. So it's just because or, right? Yeah. And then the other thing was another usage of mashoka, which was actually really simple. And I figured this would take a lot longer than it did. It only took 30 minutes, 25 minutes. So I didn't put it into the lesson. But anyway, got some practice up here. I don't know. Uh, this is my example practice. It's iku, which is to go. And basically, I just want everyone to try to put it into the te form or any of the te usages that we use today. So, iku could become itte, itte kudasai, itte wa ikemasen, itte mo ii, anything like that. So, that's the examples. I've only got a few today. Usually, I have way too many. But if anyone wants to help me, throw it down in the comments if you're watching it on the replay. I'll give you like a minute to answer. The first one is nomu, which is to drink. So just pop that into the te form, and you can add anything if you want into the chat. Or I was going to do this in Discord voice, but I don't think we have enough people in here to do that just yet. But if anyone ever wants to do that, just jump on Discord and let me know before the lesson next time. So Nomu, how do we turn that into the te form, everyone? Do you guys remember? Throw it up in chat. I'll be watching. Yuki said? Uh, Yuki's answering. She's whispering right next to me. Yuki, why don't you jump on jump in screen? Someone got angry um, in the comments on one of the replays. They watched the replay of my lesson. And they were like, why don't we ever get to meet this person that you're talking to off screen all the time? And I was like, well, she's in some other videos. But, but they weren't happy about the fact that she never shows up. So, ite, uh, nonde, shinu, go, drink, die. Yes, perfect sentence. Can we see Yuki on here? Let's take a look. Uh, you're still out of frame. Uh, introducing Yuki, popping in and answering questions. Introducing Yuki, she's going to pop in and answer some questions. So, nonde iyo. Nonde iyo. Oh, I answered it already. Uh, but so did Dan. That is nonde. So, the next one is yomu, to read. Still can't see you, Yuki. What? Right here, talk into here. Uh, so, I'll give you, like... 20 seconds to answer, and then Yuki will have her one cameo answer. All right. <clears throat> She's already answered. Vide says, hi, Yuki. <laughs> you, were hi. you were supposed to let them let them answer so, so by force. So yeah. She's been wanting to come on stream a little bit recently anyway, so I don't know if you guys can hear. I have to turn the game way up. But anyway, yes, the answer is yonde. Or yonde kudasai, which means please read. Our next, our next verb is neru. So if anyone wants to answer how to conjugate neru, remember it's an it. edu verb. It's an ichi. She says <laughs> I know it. It's an ichidan verb. So 
That one might be a little bit difficult if you don't remember. It's conjugated a little bit different than other new verbs, right? I'll give you a hint. It's not nit de. It's not that. So I'll give you... I don't know how delayed this thing is, so I'll give you 10 seconds to answer in chat, and then Yuki will answer with the correct conjugation. So, oh, hi. Grammy says, hi, hi Yuki. Hello. Hi, Hello. Grammy. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, I'm losing my voice, 2, 1, 0, Yuki. Nete. Nete kudasai. Go to sleep. <clears throat> Why is everyone still awake? Why am I still awake? Nete is the correct answer. Very good. So our next one is hashiru, which is to run. I'll give you guys a few seconds to answer that one, and then Yuki will give the answer by force. <laughs> what are you reading? Nonde shinu. Itte nonde shinu. Yes, yes. I don't know where he's going. Some kind of party, I imagine. <laughs> yes. So Yuki, how does it feel to be on stream for the first time? This is your first time ever on a live stream, I think. Please give us your I, your opinion. I want to run. She wants to run. She wants to run out of frame as quickly as possible. Yo, yo, kai te mo yo. Say bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, I turned the gain up a bit so you could hear us both. I figured you kind of have to be right in front of the mic to um, hear it if the gain isn't up on this. I haven't really experimented with more than one person here on the Yeti. But anyway, she wanted to run off frame. She wasn't quite ready to be dragged on the live stream. So the answer for this one is, Hashitte, hashitte kudasai, please run. Ah, that was good coincidence. Hashitte. This is our last one. It is swaru, which is to sit. I am sitting on the floor in like a floor chair. Did you know floor chairs were a thing here? I didn't really know that until I came back this time around. And I went to a D2, which is like a, <clears throat> it's like a, what's, what's a good example? It's not Walmart, but it's, it's like a cross between Walmart and Home Depot. Maybe mm. something like that. Cross between those two. I went there and they had like, 20 different of these 20 different seats for the floor like really nice ones and we've got these old ones from like the 80s or the 70s that yuki's mom gave us and, and they were really nice at first but they've been falling apart rapidly <laughs> so i'm about to go get like a floor chair is that is that what they're called i don't know floor chairs some of them are really comfortable there's this one where like you sit down in it and you can like lean back and the chair leans back like at the perfect angle so it's right on your lower back and then you can touch the ground it like cracks your back it's a cool seat 7000 yen though vite is correct it is suatte good job all right bananas for vite or is it or is it oranges today i don't know booms bananas yes you got the answer vite all right suatte kudasai everyone please sit down oranges it's oranges today awesome so anyway thank you for watching our lesson today luma wipe <clears throat> so yeah today's lesson was pretty straightforward right it was it was a little bit more straightforward than i was expecting um the tay form i've covered it a few times in this channel so a lot of you probably already know how to make it but you also know how to make the past tense now i know come to japan dan uh kyushu trail you guys are good at japanese right if you've ever watched mayday san he was here a little bit earlier i don't know if he's, he's editing a video but he knows japanese so that's fine. I know Grammy's studying now, and Vite is starting now, studying now. So I hope this was helpful to you guys. Otsukare sama deshita. Thank you. You too. Otsukare sama deshita. Yes. So that was fun. Um, just to give you guys a little update of what's coming next on this channel, on Tuesday, I'm going to be continuing the stream of the game. What is it called again? <laughs> Learn Japanese to Survive Kanji Combat. That game was more fun than I expected and I don't know it was kind of fun to stream a game like I didn't have to really prepare anything in particular just read the story and see what happens and it was kind of fun so I'm going to be doing that again um what I'm really hope looking forward to is when the game Koi comes out in April I'm going to be streaming that it, it looks like it'll actually maybe be a little bit more fun more open world-ish I don't know 
more my style, I think. So that could be fun. So I'm looking forward to that. But I'm going to keep streaming these games until we get to that in April. On Thursday, I did a collaboration with a local channel. We went to Matsumoto and did a video for their channel. And I did a little skit for my channel, which is all in Japanese. So the whole video is Japanese. I know some people were requesting that I do a video all in Japanese. And this one is. Well, the other people aren't speaking Japanese, but I am. So all Japanese video coming Thursday. And on Saturday, one of the four videos that I streamed or that I recorded yesterday. So, yeah. And I've got to send you guys something. Right. Anyway, lots of work to do this week. Should be fun. I hope you guys are all having a great, great week. I hope you have. No, it's a new week. I hope you all have a great week. And yeah, uh, keep, you know, working hard on Japanese. Um, what was I going to say? Anyway. If you enjoyed this, please hit the thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy this, please hit the thumbs up and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. I think all of you guys in chat have, but if you're watching this on the replay, that's never expected, but always appreciated. And you can join the Discord, which is down below. We always are talking about Japanese and Japan, sharing pictures, and Yuki's been teaching hiragana went through pictures well she was she she has all of them finished but she only has posted two of the pictures you gotta you gotta get back on that <laughs> and answering questions and stuff and of course i'm completely addicted to twitter so follow me there if you haven't already yes so anyway i say so too much so how was your guys weeks this past week or your weekend what did you guys do this weekend I'm going to sign off in like a minute, but I finished way sooner than I expected. So let's chat. I went, let's see, what did I do? This Saturday, I woke up, I filmed four videos, nope, five videos. And then I went to this, I went to this thing. So like some guy that works with Yuki or that Yuki is involved with at her work, like he works at a different company, but they have a working relationship. And he's like, we need foreigners to come to this thing for foreigners that we just came up with like a couple days ago and it's 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 really important do you know anyone and she's like oh andy can go maybe and i went and we literally knew i i knew nothing about what was going on i just walked in to the front of a building called some guy and he was supposed to come get me it was like the shot is he shacho of the company no no he's the top of uh, bucho he's the bucho of that section so i called him and he's like Sorry, we didn't we didn't make it in time to finish this festival, so I'm sending someone to get you. So he pulls me upstairs, and we go into this room. I pass a room with about 100 people inside, and they're all, like, discussing something. I'm like, oh, crap, is that where I'm going? I just knew that I had to discuss something. And I walk into this other room, and there's another 30 people just sitting around tables. Everyone's reading their speeches. They've all got speeches, and they're practicing them. And I'm like, I don't even know what this is. What's going on? So I sit down, and it took, like, 30 minutes, and then it ended up just being... They had they did this like presentation on their goals for the city and they wanted foreigners opinions on what we think would make the city better of Nagano and the other people in the group. One one girl was Australian and she actually spoke really good Japanese. Uh, but the other two, there were two Chinese women and they spoke no Japanese. So the guys there, apparently they heard somewhere that I speak Japanese and like, Andy, you can translate, right? Just please translate everything in this ridiculous presentation with tons of words that I've never heard before to these Chinese girls if they look like they don't understand anything. What does that even mean? So yeah, that was my Saturday. And then we went down to Ida, to, well, near Ida, to Yuki's family. That was fun. So what, 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 what am I missing in chat? I'm missing all kinds of stuff. Wow. Stoked to watch the kanji game again, says, says Dan. Yeah, I'm kind of stoked to actually play it. I'm hoping there's a little more... Um, there's a little more free roaming time and not just tons of story. But but the story's kind of funny, too. Yuki's choking. Are you okay? <laughs> anyway, she's okay. Kyushu Trail says, I had a great week and another hike. And I imagine that means another video. All right. Can't wait for that. <clears throat> Daniel says, I went to a few parties. It's spring here. Eee, nah. New Zealand, it would be a perfect weather right now. That's where I was last year at this time. It was amazing. Oh, my God. Exactly a year ago, I went to New Zealand. Today. Today. A year ago today, I flew into New Zealand for a two-week visit that it turned into a year. Two years ago? What? No. How were the parties, Danielle? QGL says, and my last video took off. Yeah, man, I saw that. That thing blew up. 
it was a little spooky. Not so funny. So I guess I was wrong on the vote on Twitter. Dan says I went to Akizuki. It was great. Nice. Akizuki. Nice. All right. I'm, I'm, I'll admit it. What's Akizuki? I don't know. Yuki, what's Akizuki? Do you know? Oh, is it a place? I don't know. Is it a place? I don't know. I'll have to catch up. Close to 1,500 views. Man, that's really blown up. Last time I looked at it, four, it had 400 views or something. Nice stuff, man. You hit on a nice topic. <coughs> yeah, first time to 1,000. Woo! It's in Kyushu. Okay, so it's a place. Nice. Do you know Chinese too, Andy? No, I do not. But the one Chinese woman, like they were both friends, she spoke okay English. So... I was listening to Japanese that even I had a hard time understanding, then translating it into English to someone who had a hard time with English. I don't know. It was kind of messy. But then when we got into these groups to discuss everything, I didn't really know what they were looking for. It's just, it was just suddenly like 15 people around me, and they were all just looking at me and the the one other girl who spoke Japanese like, okay, what do you guys think? And what? No opinions. So then some guy mentioned, said something, and I just – ran with that and ended up talking for like 30 minutes about nothing came up with some good ideas though but it was it was fun it was interesting good experience danielle says they were good there was a spring festival and i did sword fighting demonstrations for seven hours now i'm sunburnt at least you're just sunburnt i would imagine you'd be exhausted sword fights for seven hours it could be fun anyway where'd you go hiking this time kyushu trails was it is it a secret are you waiting to give away that answer when you release your video in a week or two? And Dan, what did you do in uh, Akizuki? Seven hours. Sounds exhausting. Yes, it does sound exhausting. Anyway, what's this? Sweet. Man, I, I still haven't done a real hike in so long. I went I went to this thing that was supposed to be a hike two or three weeks ago. But it ended up just being a tour of a semi-abandoned city, town. There's this town near Nagano called Kinasa. And I don't know, it's like a 20, 30-minute drive just into the mountains. <clears throat> and apparently, until just before the war, they were extremely, extremely rich. So they've got this, like, massive temple. It's the biggest temple I've ever seen, probably ever seen in Japan. It's huge. But there's only maybe, there's less than like a thousand people that live there, I think. What was the population of Kinasa? It, it was very few people, but a massive temple. 4,000, 5,000? I don't think, no, I thought it was like 400 or something. Anyway, it's not many people. <laughs> but apparently it used to be lots of people and they were super rich. And the reason was they grew weed. Like they literally grew, they grew it for hemp. But... So they sold the hemp, right? So they used it for hemp. So they were making linens and stuff like that. And they sold it all over Japan. So they became like mega rich, the whole city. For example, there was this house <clears throat> that was up in the mountain and they decided to build a dam. And they built the dam and it became a lake. But this house was on the other side of the lake. So they couldn't get anywhere. So they just built like a bridge for car, like a big beautiful bridge just to go to that one house across the across the river the new river lake i don't know it was a big really nice bridge to one house but anyway the reason why that town completely fell apart my my focus is all off can you hit the manual focus one more time um the reason that town basically is dying is because after the war the good old united states of america said to japan no hemp is bad because hemp also has weed so you have to stop growing it and now there's nothing for that city to do well there hasn't been for about 70 years now so it's slowly dying it's a beautiful place it's kind of disappointing there's lots of huge beautiful houses that are just empty or there's 98 80 90 85 to 98 year olds just all living together so it's it's a dying town it's kind of sad but anyway it ended up just being like a tour this guy trying to like promote that town trying to get people to come live there it was not a hike, so I still haven't gone hiking. It's a long way to say I still have not gone hiking this year, and it makes me very sad. What did I miss? Daniel says it was mostly training children, so not too much combat. I didn't even know you did sword fighting. 
You've been doing a lot over the past couple of years, Danielle. When are you coming to visit again? Anyway, Keisha Trail says, I went on a local mountain introducing some snacks in the video. Nice. Might be up tomorrow, Tuesday. Sweet. Can't wait. Come to Japan, Dan says, we just walked around. It's an old traditional town. Lots of great fall leaves as well. Oh, is it finally changing down there? Nice. They're pretty much starting to fall down here. <laughs> we were watching the news down at Yuki's, and one of the big news stories was that it rained, so leaves were falling off the trees. It's a very peaceful country, isn't it? was the news it rained so the leaves have begun falling thank you for tuning into the five o'clock news anyway it was hot like 24 degrees celsius that's nice yeah today was pretty warm it's 21 up here oprah rich yeah well <laughs> maybe not that rich but, but pretty rich oprah winfrey is a tv host famous tv talk show host in america and she's filthy rich you're coming in april nice hopefully i'm here I don't think I have any plans in April. Do I have any plans in April? I can't remember. Anyway, <clears throat> sweet. What's up? <sighs> okay. So anyway, guys, thank you for hanging out tonight. It was a lot of fun. It's only 1020 and I've only been live for less than an hour, but I'm exhausted. It's been a long weekend. So I think I'm going to sign off for the night, but I will maybe see some of you on Tuesday. And if not... Uh, check out my new video from a couple days ago uh, about me being sick and how much it costs to go to the doctors in Japan. Uh, spoiler alert, it's not nearly as much as America, thankfully. Daniel says, good night, Andrew and Yuki. Thank you for the lesson, says Vide. Thank you for coming. Um, yeah, so and check out the video I'm putting out on Thursday. I'm really, I really, really enjoyed making and it's all in Japanese, but there are English subtitles. So please check that out when it comes out. I might even premiere it. We'll see. Because they'll be putting out their video as well. So, I don't know. We'll see. I'll let you guys know on Twitter, so follow me there if you're not there already. And I will see you explaining Oprah to Yuki, LOL. <laughs> yes. Why would she know who Oprah is? I don't think anyone here probably does. Anyway, thank you for coming. And we will see you next time. Have a great day. And don't forget, if you want to learn to speak Japanese, you got to speak Japanese. Peace.